Hey guys, what's up? It's Tang Griffin. As promised, I'm here with a uh, top ten, with a uh, top uh, wrestling game review. But I have five games here. Um, I turns out I didn't have enough to make a top ten. So here is the top five wrestling games video. <laughs> Before I start, I want to give some honorable mentions. These games did not make my cut, but they honestly they were close. So, how first, second of all, how do you come up with a top five list of your favorite wrestling games? And considering the fact you had these games and you like them, well, I based them on um, gameplay, like game design, um, sound. Um, Gameplay, game design, sound, um, controls, and those are the four things that made it up for the uh, system. The uh, list. Um, unfortunately, these two games did not make my cut. Um, and the honorable mentions, don't worry. WCW Backstage Assault is not in there, even though I do own that game. But the games that I put in my honorable mentions is uh, WCW Mayhem for the Nintendo 64. Only reason why I didn't make my cut is the fact that it was the uh, controls are delayed, the moves are delayed. So, other than that, this game would have would have been in the list. Uh, another game, and this is a favorite. It was a tough decision. Don't worry, it was a tough decision for me too because I'm a huge wrestling fan. And all these games I played as a kid, um, and this game is WCW versus NWO World Tour. Um, only reason why this didn't make my cut is because there weren't a lot of characters and plus it was more more cartoonish than uh, normal wrestling games so that didn't make my cut and finally this game I already reviewed it's a PS1 game and it is WCW Nitro only reason that this didn't make my cut is because of the fact that the controls and the moves were delayed and other, other than that, there's the fact that you had to enter a combination for a certain move. So, other than that, this, this is a great game. But now, let's get down to my top five bit, to my top five games. Right, number five. This was released in 2013. No, 2012. Released by THQ, and I have it for the 360. And then it is WWE 13. Um, only reason why this game is number five or in my top five list, even though it's a modern game, modern day game, is the fact that you can go back into the Attitude Era. You know, Stone Cold, The Rock, DX, uh, you know, uh, Al Snow, Ken Shamrock. You can go back in time and relive all those great moments that you missed when you were a kid. Um, so. That is the reason this is in, other than the fact that this is a fun game. Uh, I would pick it up. If you own a 360 or a PS3, pick this up. You won't regret it. Number four. This game came out in 1999, released for the Dreamcast. Um, WWF Royal Rumble. Um, I Yeah, I did a review on this game, but this is one of my f personal favorites. Um that I haven't discovered when I, you know, when I was younger because the Dreamcast was one of the systems that I wanted to get for a while and I've played once in my life that's pretty much it but when I played this I was hooked because it's like an arcade game um, on a home console so it, it gives you the feel like you're playing an arcade game so this is the reason why it's number four on my list number three um, this game came out around 2004. Um, it was released only for Nintendo GameCube. Um, and it's one of my favorite games. It's WWE Day of Reckoning. Um, WWE Day of Reckoning is like a mix, is basically SmackDown versus Raw, but for the GameCube. Um, it's got all the stuff. I mean, you can see that back there. It's got all the stuff. You know, you got. You can play as Andre the Giant, Bruce Beefcake. Um, you know, it's John Cena right there. Stacy Keebler, uh, Undertaker, Kane. It's pretty much uh, 
SmackDown vs. Raw for the GameCube. So if you were a fan of the first SmackDown vs. Raw like I was, pick this up. You won't regret it. Now, number two. The game came out in 1998. Released by THQ, developed by the Aki Corporation. Um, and it is WCW vs. NWO Revenge. Um, I played this a lot when I was a kid. I rented this game like maybe twice or three times. And every time I played it, I was really ecstatic. I was blown away by the graphics at the time. Um, you have a wire, wider variety of characters to choose from than uh, World Tour. Um, this is the sequel to World Tour. Um, if I would recommend it more than World Tour, I don't know because they're both great games. But if you want a more realistic style uh, wrestling game, this is the one to pick up. Number one, and this is the game that I spent most of my time on, on the Nintendo 64, next to Golden Knight. Um, this game was released in 2000, um, was made by THQ. Um, it also was developed by the Aki Corporation, and this game is WWF No Mercy. Um, this is the game I spent on a lot as a kid, countless times, trying to uh, unlock all the championships in... Um, championship mode it was wow this game blows me away because it is to this day one of the best wrestling games in the world um i would recommend picking this up i don't think i don't know if i did a review on this or not um but if not i will review it um so yeah that's it well, that ends this video. I went kind of fast, but you get you get the gist of what I'm going for here. Um, I will see you guys later. Take care, and uh, be on the lookout for my next video, which is the review for WWF SmackDown on the PS1, and also WWF SmackDown 2 on the PS1. Those will be coming very, very shortly. Um, and, all, and then it always up to my Christmas video. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, just take care, be safe, and hope to see you guys later.